The parade, the party spilled into the Castro, where celebrations are expected to continue into the morning. And Betty Yu has been out there to recap the day. Ben has this report. After a day of festivities, this is where thousands of people came to celebrate San Francisco Pride, a night of partying caps off what is traditionally the biggest weekend of the year for the Castro. The Castro was packed with people ready to have a good time Sunday evening. They came dressed in their rainbow best. There were lines spilling out of bars on both sides of the street on 18. Pride was also good for business. Marcello's Pizza said sales were about four times what they normally are on a Sunday. This is a great turnout, and I'm going to use the word hope again. This gives a lot of hope to all of our small businesses out here. It's, it feels really good. Much better than last year, I can say that. Very, very well. While he's encouraged, manager Alex Evola said things aren't quite back to the way they were pre-pandemic. Some people we spoke with took notice. It's different than years past. I've been coming for over 30 years, and um, it's sort of not the same vibe it used to be in years past. It used to be more closed. vibrant? Yeah, a lot of the bars are closed now, a lot of the stores are closed. Yeah, it's not as many people as it was. San Francisco resident Edward Fauché and his friends still enjoyed pride. They started the day riding in the parade before strolling through the Castro. Beautiful vibe. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful vibe. I mean, people been I've been getting compliments on my outfit, hat, shoes. So I'm just... The love is in the air. The love is in the air. We picked up some bling, you know, to make it a little stylish. <laughs> and, uh, Even your shoes. Check out the shoes. Oh, you shoes. love our shoes? This year, threats and violence against this community are on the rise as hundreds of bills seek to restrict LGBTQ rights across the country. Partygoers say it's more important than ever to show their pride and uplift one another. It's really widespread throughout the country that, you know, there's violence against trans women of color, you know, and so we have to stand and we have to be visible in who we are. You know, and we can't be afraid of who we are. There was also a heavy police presence throughout the Castro. SFPD officers could be seen at virtually every corner. Crowds after the parade at Civic Center Plaza were so big that the BART station had to be closed down for about half an hour.